Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to finally finish up Mid's Quest. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We're seeing troops amassing at every border crossing. I think Mid might need some help tidying up. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mid. But you'll be pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it? In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat. A coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the Black Hammer! You know, when I got into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not... Thermal bleeding didgeridoo does. Displacement stacks. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way. Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is gonna require some precision wallabin. <laughs> It's finished! It's finally finished! Thank fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. I'm sorry? Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean... <laughs> Don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in, keep it to yourselves, eh? What's the matter? Nothing. Just... daydreaming. <laughs> Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the Blight. Just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, we might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... 
I want people to sail a border by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> Don't you always? All right. My mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans. I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um... You were gonna visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. Is that the thing times? Mid told me she was building a ship. Really? Let's go over here real quick. And then there's... Oh, man. There's so much to do. That's a ship. Let's sail it around the... He cracked the crystal, too. You joking. Trouble with the ledgers. Shouldn't he be asking Otto for help? What could be wrong with Torgor? He seemed well enough when I last saw him. Hopefully it's nothing, but I should speak to Blackthorn just in case. We'll do all these side quests after we finish up the uh, main quest we got going on here. I don't know if we'll start them today though. Maybe we'll do some main quests. And then um, the next video, we'll do a bunch of side quest stuff. All right, Clive. Asterix. We'd finish sending half the hideaway tropes in across the twins, has she? I swear, that girl would do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She... did, yes. Clive? Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, mid. I might still be able to catch her. Let's come up here and then I'm gonna talk to this person about a side quest and then we'll catch up with mid.
Well, that's it. Here, Sid. Reckon you might be just the man to help me out of a bit of bother, if you've a mind to. Let's hear it. Well, it's about this alembic the chief's got me making. Lovely bit of kit, it is. Bung in a solution you want split in, and it will separate it out, just like that. Problem is, it won't always get rid of all the impurities. And with some of the stuff we need it for, that ain't good enough. Which is why I've been looking for something to filter the liquid we'll be cooking off. And that's where I was hoping you could help me out. I imagine Ty could get some use out of this alembic too. Distilling medicines and the like. All right. Why not? Proper job! So what exactly do you need for this filter? Nothing but bomb ash will do, says the chief. Gave me a sample she'd obtained from the university stores. Couldn't believe my eyes. You pour the blackest blight water through it, and it comes out clear as a mountain stream. So, I did a bit of reading about where I might be able to get hold of some. And do you know what I found out? It's only the blimmin' bones of a bomb king. They leave them behind when they die, see? I take it that's where I come in. <laughs> if you would have mind. I, I, I saw a billet on the hump board for one just the other day. Would have gone myself, but, well, fighting dirty great balls of flame isn't exactly my forte. You, on the other hand... All right. I'll see what I can do. Thank you kindly. And, and a good hunting, eh? Looks like we're going to get an upgrade to our healing again. That's nice. Now let's go ahead and go catch mid before she runs off. Oh, there's two. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's the level 45 one. The Crook. Sandbreck. Okay, I'll uh, have to write that down. Mid told me she was building a ship. Really? Is that the thing Tomes helped to build? Obelith, have you seen Mid? Yep. In a boat, going that way. <sighs> then I'm too late. Mm, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rowed off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for ya. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post-bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Oberleth. Don't mention it. What tidings, uncle? Troubling Canva. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on Mid. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? It, uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in, all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. 
<laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure we'll give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Poor Mid. She's just sad and, you know, misses her dad. Well, Sid, I remember what you told me. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend. Hugo Kuka is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If it had been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. Mm. And not as slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it were never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. Goods. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. 
You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> You're letting me go with them? Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Stop that. You break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> 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 There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Bocklab markets. It's managed by the Merchants Guild. Just show them Goots's traders pass and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, OK, then. I'll get me things and I'll meet you there. See yous down in Buck, lad. Get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? Do you see, that's it. Your protégé's making a proper little outlaw of himself. How are you feeling? Better. Thanks to Talia. I'm glad to hear it. And Torgal helped too. Didn't you, boy? Um... Okay, cool. I was like, wait, where are we? There is a... Side quest here. So maybe we'll do this side quest on this on the way to go into onward. Something's over there. Way up, I guess. I keep finding these. I, I don't really understand what they are. This used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass. And all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. So close to a level. So what do you think? That we'd be lucky to... Really? It's as bad as that? Oh, why? There's trouble up ahead. And too much of it for us to handle. I take it there's danger on the road. Oh. What about this fearsome-looking fellow? 
You think he'd be equal to the task? Oh, no doubt. Assuming he's willing to hear us out. Well met, friend. My brother and I have been tasked with finding a merchant's missing cart. You seen it by any chance? How does a merchant misplace his cart? Oh, the man's a coward. When he thought goblins might come a-snarling, he ran, leaving his livelihood abandoned in the pass. He sent the two of us to fetch it, but it's gone. Now, I'm not much of a thinker, but I know the work of thieves when I see it. My brother's right on all accounts. And by my estimation, the bastards are lying in wait just down the road. We may have seen our share of action, true, but we've not got the skill in arms to boldly brave an ambush. You, however, have the look of a man who needn't fear a band of backwater ruffians. What do you say? Will you help us out? Chances are they'll come for you either way. But if you promise to lend us a hand, at least you'll pocket a reward for your troubles. I have a feeling they're lying, but we'll see. Well, if I'm going to have to deal with them anyway. You've clearly got a fine head on those broad shoulders. We're well, lucky you came along. Now, hoping to make a heavy purse in Boklad, our merchant friend loaded his cart with as much as it would carry. Reckon he won't be forking over the rest of our fee if we don't find those goods. So, while you're seeing to those bandits, you keep your eyes open. All right. Just don't expect me to drag the cart out of there myself. Nope, nope. Uh, you can leave the cart to us. You just put an end to those bandits and point us in the right direction. You do that, we'll take care of the rest. Yeah, they seem very shady. I'm not sure I trust those two. But if there are bandits lying in wait, I should probably take care of them. <laughs> Look lively, you lot! Well, well, we've got guests. Far from home. These must be our bandits. <laughs> and if you let me out of this corner. Too slow. Nice try. And we got a level. Awesome. Awesome possum. That's them dealt with. Now, where's that cart? Just checking for a treasure chest or two. Getting all of this out of here will be a nightmare. Seems we found ourselves the right man for the job, wouldn't you say? Found the cart and didn't leave a single bastard breathing. Our merchant friend will be delighted. And how exactly will he be getting his goods out of here? 
You leave that to us. After all, it'd be wrong to make such a fine warrior haul cabbages to market. You've done your part. And that's all you need to worry about. Here. It's been a pleasure. Now piss off. There's no need to be so rude, brother. What if we want his help again next time? Yeah, those guys are shady as fuck. I see the Dalmex lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. The path continues on the other side. Looks like we're gonna be fighting some enemies real fast. I think we're going to go a little longer on this one because I want to get this main quest done or at least most of the way done here. Wow, that's really pretty. So this is Zemeckis. The land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. A final battle took place here, at these falls. Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in bearers. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the Dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the Dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? <sighs> Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. Hmm. 
Five. Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. I see the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambreg. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule it. And I can think of none better suited to the task. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead and Drake's Fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The Emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieka made flesh. Return to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind, and my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths. Regarding the nature of nations, of rulers, and of the divine. You will trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. <gasps> the canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! <clears throat> you will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. Oh, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? I have suffered worse. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. 
For a base-born child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? What an evil bitch, man. The Boklab markets are to the north. We just need to hug the coast. Let's see. Can we go to the world map? Okay, we can fast travel, do all that. That's all good and dandy. Um, and we're far from over here. So what I think I'm going to do is not end here. We're going to continue on the uh, quest. This is going to be a little bit of a longer video. Um, hopefully everybody's okay with that. I want to finish this up so when we come back, we can do some side quests and get that all finished up. And then continue on the main story. I know I keep saying I'm going to try to keep these... Uh, videos trading the Dominion won't be easy with the Imperials on high alert. No, his radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twinside. His troops are well trained and increasingly battle hardened. But it's not as if we can wait for the siege to end. Thanks for interrupting. Um, I know that I keep saying that I'm going to try to keep these videos to a minimum of 30 minutes or just a little over, but I really, really want to refugees. get some of this done. And they're all making for the Crystalline Dominion. Because they don't know how to live without the Crystal's blessing. No crystals here. We have to this is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. That's that. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. And nasty. You won't find a finer array this side of the strait. May Gilbert Out of my smile sight, upon French. you. I've no use for a brandy. Peaches and pears. Peaches and pears. Wonders from across the water. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes. Good sir, can I interest you in... Uh, uh, How much for a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper. Not nowadays. They are more than welcome to look. The Empire's unlawful and illegitimate yeah. occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Uh, yeah. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are a former line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. But can't you make an exception? Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Let's go and find good, shall we? He must be around here somewhere. Come, taste my peaches! Yes. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside.
I'll take the large one. <laughs> oh, dude. There you are. Clive, I, I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? Slow down, Goots. Just tell us what happened. It's me trader's pass. It's gone. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in me pocket a minute ago. Then a bairn bumped into me and... Here. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? It wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? <gasps> I, I know where! I, I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Sound's got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. I'm gonna check the rest of me stuff, make sure no one else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. Let's keep an eye out for this red chocobo, then. And the other on our purses. Next to the checkpoint. Okay, so this quest is going to be a little bit longer than I thought. Let's go in. Let's go into our journal here. And we have a lot of side quests to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to track payback. Or, yes. Can we... Oh, okay. We, we have it prioritized. Oh, I see. You can only have three prioritized at a time. Okay. Well, in that case, sorry to keep rambling on. What we're going to do is we're going to travel to the hideaway. And when we come back, we're going to do all those side quests. And then we'll continue on to the main quest. All righty, everyone. Now that we're back at the hideaway, I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody. Have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.